What's up dudes? You might be wondering why I said dudes, how about the female demographic? According to my analytics, 96% of my viewers are men. I got a new lens here, it's the Sigma 18 to 35. I got it because it's a wide angle zoom lens that stays at 1.8, which is probably why you're also interested in it. I have it on the C100 Mark II. It's a super 35 millimeter video sensor and also I've tested it on the Canon 80D, which is an APS-C. One of the biggest things I was wondering is how loud is the lens on autofocus? So now I've got the Sigma on the Canon 80D and I'm just gonna kind of move back and forth so you can kind of see how the autofocus is uh, and you could also probably hear it, what it sounds like. I'm getting a good workout in right now. So now we are listening to the onboard mic on the Canon 80D and I'm gonna just kind of move this autofocus around. Yeah, I just hear a little bit. It's really not bad compared to like the Tamron I reviewed not too long ago. It's not as quiet as most of the Canon lenses I've worked with, but it's still not bad enough to where it really bothers me. If you're doing manual focus, hopefully you're better at pulling focus than I am. I was consistently reminded of how unforgiving an f1.8 is. There were quite a few times where the face detection on the ADD would catch onto the wrong face, and even if they're standing pretty close, is a car alarm. This is at the 18 millimeter. I'm gonna get closer and closer just so you can see the macro, see what the macro is like. And yeah, now this boy dance party is taking it to the next level. Sometimes we like to dance with just us guys. By the way, I just got back from Las Vegas and I'm exhausted. Is it cool if I do the rest of the review just like this? I'm just, I just need a little bit of rest. Oh, that's so good. Zoom range from the 18 to 35 millimeter. Fine, I'll get back up. Another thing to keep in mind is that this lens, the Sigma only closes down to an F16 when most lenses close down to an F22. So keep that in mind. There were times when I was filming with Ollie on the street during broad daylight, he was wearing a white shirt, had the ISO at 100, the F-stop closed all the way down to 16 and the shutter at 1 50th of a second and was still a little bit blown out. So there were times when I had to bump up the shutter speed beyond the 180 degree rule. Probably a good idea to get some ND filters if you're shooting with a camera like the Canon 80D or if your camera has built in ND filters, then lucky you. This is what I shoot most of my stuff with when I don't really wanna worry about what's in focus and just making sure it's wide enough for everything to be in frame. This one, I'm still a little bit like, ooh, is it in my in focus? Am I gonna dip out of focus every time I kind of move around? Now I'm back on the super wide lens, but oh, look, see, I don't have that F1.8, so I gotta bump up this ISO. Because because it doesn't have image stabilization, I do recommend trying to keep it on some sort of image stabilization or tripod. Maybe if you drink less coffee than me, then you could do a handheld and keep it steady. I wouldn't say it should be your first lens if you're just getting into it. There's a lot of cameras that's like at a 2.8 and have a lot more range, but if you're looking for something specifically wide and fast, this is a awesome choice. By the way, in case you guys didn't notice in the video was Ollie B from the nerdy Uber driver video. <laughs> Ollie and I linked up last week and filmed some stuff, so make sure you check out his channel. Uh, we'll be uploading stuff to there, and I'll try to upload some stuff on my channel. And also, thank you guys for your support. This is insane. You guys did this. In the comments I've been getting, your annoying voice made me leave my only comment in over a year. That's pretty impressive. I made him comment and he's never commented in a year. Legit. Have girls been like totally hitting you up ever since the video? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ollie, I think you should dress like that in real life. It's kind of sexy. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Really. Some girls think it's sexy when I dress like a nerd. <laughs> girls like nerds sometimes. 